what is going on guys my name is german welcome back to the channel if you guys are new here leave a like subscribe come on come on let's let's get each other going here let's get each other going here you know i know you you know me you guys know me. a little partnership a little partnership today i want to make a video just discussing who the part two or is going to be for the turtle celebration now they could do something new right dokkan has kind of broken their little paneling like their little like oh this has to happen in this pattern it has to happen right but I'm going to presume, because for the past three years now, there's been a Part 2 LR in this slot celebration. So last year, the Part 2 LR was Golden Frieza. Golden Frieza, very good character. Two years ago, it was LR Goku and Piccolo, the int unit. Also, I mean, good when they came out, but kind of eh. Nowadays, they suck. And then three years ago, it was STR UI Goku with the Capla celebration. So Kid Gohan was, sorry, Kid Gohan came out with this unit here. <laughs> anyway. As you guys can see, we've got three part two LRs in this time slot. So I decided to just bring up these three characters. I, these are the three characters that I think probably have the, the highest chance of being the part two LR. I do think there is a crazy, ridiculously high chance that the part two LR is going to be super class. I don't think it's going to be an extreme class character because it would really, I mean, it, it would be awesome. But going off, if they're going to stick with the Tree of Might theme, now, by the way, LR Dr. Wheelow being a part of the celebration kind of makes me lead, and sorry, and Gohan and Goten's EZA kind of leads me to believe this is just an overall movie celebration. But I kind of want to keep things straight. I don't think we're getting anything super crazy mega hype. Like, I don't think we're getting, you know, L uh, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. We're not going to get, like, Gogeta or Janemba as an LR or something like that. We're not going to get anything crazy, right? Super crazy mega hype. I think it's going to be something basic. And I think it's going to be something from the Tree of Might movie just to kind of finish it off. So, let's go ahead and talk about it. My first choice is going to be Spirit Bomb Goku. That The Goku that finishes off Turles is essentially the character that I'm going to be talking about here. I... Here's the thing. I think, very clear, this is like what they'd expect. This is what Dokkan, like Dokkan in the back of their heads, they're probably like theorizing like, oh yeah, the whole community knows we're going to drop a part to LR. And... I think this moment right here would make just the most amount of sense because this is literally the end of the movie, right? This animation did just get a sub EZA. However, we don't have this fight, this moment from Goku doing the spirit bomb against Turles. We don't have this in insanely great animation. It's just an old character who EZA. The issue with this character is that um, Goku, base form Goku is kind of stacked right now. We really don't need another base form Goku, right? Because we have Carnival AGL LR Goku, who's one of the best units in the game. Tech 23rd World Tournament Goku, who's one of the best characters in the game. And it's just, it's like a list, right? If they were to drop Goku as the part to LR, I would rather it be Kaioken Goku. That has an active skill that's the Spirit Bomb. I think that might be the most sense. Because, I mean, at this point, this guy is... LR, LR Kaioken Goku is good, but he's not good. If You guys get what I'm saying. Like, you can't really run this guy in a lot of difficult content right now. But he is runnable. I'm not saying he's a terrible character. I'm just saying we could use an upgrade. Granted, there's no int Kaioken Goku at all in the game. So, I mean, hey, hey, hey. Right, right, right. So, yeah. I think if they were to do Goku and the Spirit Bomb this moment right here as the LR, I would prefer it be Kaioken Goku that has an active skill. That is the Spirit Bomb. I think that might be the best way to kind of, kind of like separate the base form Goku. Because we already have two very powerful base form Gokus. So... Kyle can Goku. He's not. Yeah, Kyle can Goku. If they do do base form Goku, it's kind of an L because, like, we, we look at this again. These two are legit characters. I think that this is just like this is like the the one that everybody could just agree on would more than likely be the part two LR, right? Go Goku doing the spear bomb would be like hundred percent like a part two LR. Up next is Great Ape Kid Gohan from the Tree of My Movie. Now. We actually don't have a Great Ape Kid Gohan in Dokkan at all. The only Great Ape Kid Gohan, and actually I should have pulled this up a little bit earlier, but I didn't. I apologize for that. The only Gohan, let me let me actually type this out too, by the way. You guys are going to see, you guys, you guys know, they call it Giant Ape. You guys are about to see, right? There's only one Kid Gohan Great Ape character, and it's this. There's the Chain Battle boss, and then there is the uh, unusable Kid Gohan card, right? So... Hopefully this brings up the card I want. I, I really should have pulled this up. Let me make a cut and then bring him out because I mean, dude, it's, it's embarrassing typing. Okay, this is the guy I'm talking about. These are the only two graded Gohan cards in the game. It's this guy and then the Chain Battle Boss. This could help. 
a lot. Why? This character would be a giant form buff. Youth. He'd be on giants. Youth. Hybrids. Goku family. Like, Bond the Master and Disciple. He would be on a lot of categories that could really use the help. This guy could realistically be a great addition to LR Carnival Gohan's team. Movie heroes, because this would be the Tree of Might version of Grave Kid Gohan. So it's like, yeah, I see. They, they, this could work. Now, granted, I don't know what they do for animations, right? Gohan, I guess they could they could have the intro legitimately be Turles' active skill, where he just stares at the moon and then he transforms into the Great Ape. Or, you know, they probably just have him base form and then just have the giant form happen. So, I mean, who knows? Who knows how they're going to do this, right? But I think that this has a very good chance. They're not just going to drop a regular Kid Gohan. We literally have a summonable Carnival LR for Kid Gohan. AGL Kid Gohan, he's just old. He's still solid, but he's old. But Kid Gohan is in a dead position, so we could really drop another one, but I I, I don't think they drop one the same year. They, they literally drop an anniversary character. So Great Ape Kid Gohan, to me, would just make the most amount of sense. I think they could do a lot. He would be a pretty big help to a lot of teams as well. So Great Ape Kid Gohan is personally my pick as to who I want for Part 2 LR. Obviously, I, I, I have a higher chance of this being the most likely outcome, but I think Great Ape Kid Gohan does have a chance. And then finally, j just the Z Fighters. I, I, like, really, they, they could just drop the Z Fighters, right? Like, like, if I take a look at the Z Fighters link real fast, which I should have pulled up. God darn it. Anyway, if I pull up the Z Fighters link, it, I think it is the Z Dash Fighters, but we'll see. No. Here's my typing, guys. You guys like my typing? You guys like my types? <laughs> if we look at, take a look at the Z Fighter link... This could work, theoretically. This would be all the characters that would be on that theoretical, like, Z-Fighters thing. The thing is, the Z-Fighters all together as one card would be the most wonky character in Dokkan history because they'd only be on, like, joint forces, warriors raised on Earth. And that's it. They would have to do introduce something like the Z-Fighter category in order to get this in, but Earthbred Fighters is essentially the Z-Fighters category, just albeit you have more characters other than just the Z-Fighters. So... I don't know, just kind of wonky, right? There's, like, a lot of moments that the Z Fighters fight against the Turles army, the Crusher core. You know, all the fights that they have against them. They could they could kind of make, like, an animation around them. But they'd be, like, Joint Forces, Warriors Raised on Earth, Movie Heroes. It'd just be, like, a weird mix of categories. But this is also just an option. I, this is the most least likely. This is just something I had to throw out there to see maybe. And now, to kind of give you guys, like, just one final thing. I don't think they're going to do an extreme class character as the part 2 LR. I really don't. I think part 2 is going to be super class, but if they are going to do an extreme class character, it's basically free game. Because they've essentially used every single animation that Turles has to offer. Unless they st start stealing stuff from heroes and make another Turles unit. I don't think Turles and the Crusher Core are going to be getting any more cards anytime in the future. So... We shall see, right? Uh, Lord Slug, I guess, could be the part 2 LR, but it's like, I want to keep it in the tree of mind, but at that point, if we're talking about other movie characters, any movie character is basically on the table for an LR here, right? They could drop LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from the second Broly movie. They could drop Goten and Trunks from Bio Broly. They could drop Gogeta for all they care, right? It, Dragon Fist Super Saiyan 3 Goku, although that deserves a Dokkan Fest. It's just, it's, it's hard. It's hard to tell. I think Super Class and I think Tree of Might are like the ways you should take a look at this, but yeah, you, you could pretty much decide almost anybody could be the Part 2 LR if you want to start bringing in other movies. So that's about it for me. Let me know what who you guys think is going to be the Part 2 LR. The Part 2 LR is going to come on like 10 days from now. I'm recording this on the 11th. I'm going to probably upload this the day after. So in about a week's time, we'll see. We'll have their details, the animations. 100% for me, I think it's going to be Spirit Bomb Goku, but we shall see. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, leave a like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one.